When the Tooth Fairy is murdered in modern-day New York City, King Oberon asks his two surviving daughters, Lucy and Charlie, to find the killer and to ensure the secret of fairy kind's existence remains intact. Hi, I'm Eric Palicki, writer and creator of Fake Empire, which is, on one hand, a Tooth Fairy murder mystery, yes, but over the course of its 80 pages, the story also unfolds into an intimate family drama. Charlie, who fully trusts her father, and Lucy, who abandoned her own kind to live among ordinary humanity. These two don't appear to have anything in common, but as their investigation progresses and they learn more about the steps Oberon has taken to keep their existence a secret from humankind, they find themselves united against a common enemy, an enemy who may be closer than they think. That's the Hollywood-style synopsis anyway. What really interested me about writing these characters are that they seem to be complete opposites, but secretly envy each other. Lucy really admires Charlie's dedication and her relationship with their parents, while Charlie admires Lucy's attitude and freedom. In spite of the tragedy that opens the book, and all the tragedy that follows, it was rewarding to write each of these women into a better place by the end of the story than where they started. I can talk for hours about whether Fake Empire is a story of the Tooth Fairy's murder and the subsequent investigation to find her killer, or whether it's a allegory for trying to keep secrets in 2016 when everyone has access to social media. But in the end, the story is really about family and about two sisters who, on the face of it, seem like complete opposites, but who manage to find common ground and eventually friendship as they try to find their sister's killer.